so tomorrow, January 29th, I launched the 125 Days to Say Yes National Strategy on Brain Injury Campaign. And this is coincides with 125 days that the House of Commons will be sitting this year, from January 29th to December 17th. On every one of those 125 days, I will be emailing the Minister of Health, Mark Holland, and a big list of MPs, including Alistair, and sending them a print letter. But in that letter, there will be a new photo of a survivor of brain injury and or family member and or groups of people who have come forward and a video of them as well, a link to a video saying why they support a national strategy of brain injury. And all of this is in hopes of supporting Alistair's house in Ottawa for Bill C-277 to come forward and be passed because I've asked Alistair to be our voices and say we need our federal government to be the North Star in Canada and provide this framework so that then the provinces and the territories can work within their own jurisdiction to develop the programs and services that meets the needs of their people. But without that North Star, we don't have a framework to set up education, prevention, awareness, and funding, which is desperately needed. We do not have provincial representation or territorial representation everywhere. We have a few provincial organizations, and a few that are there, some of them are teetering on closure. So all of this is to um, support Alistair and ask the Minister of Health to say yes this year and put forward a national strategy of brain injury. Um, for me personally, I, I mean, I just want to clearly underline that uh, you know, on the subject of traumatic brain injury, of, of mental health in general, I am certainly not an expert, and it's quite amazing for me to be up on stage with this wealth of knowledge and experience. Um, I mean, Dr. Matei, uh, your book, uh, The Myth of Normal, has certainly helped me understand uh, my personal journey through my childhood and uh, some of the quirks that make me today, but I just really want to underline the, the force that an individual can have uh, on making change, because I would not have embarked on this journey. I, I've been fortunate to represent my community as a member of Parliament since 2015, but you know, getting to know Janelle since I think around 2017 or so, uh, her determination, her drive, uh, led to the creation of this bill and to see Brain Injury Canada step in. So uh, my job in this is to try and take all of this wealth, this lived experience, and use my expertise as a policymaker to put it into a legal form. So while Janelle uh, is, is mounting that campaign with Brain Injury Canada, the 125 days, that's really to get people like you, people right across Canada, to really contact their elected representatives, their federal representatives, to put pressure on them to support this bill. Uh, my team and I are going to be embarking on the inside journey where I'm going to be personally lobbying all 337 of my colleagues in the House of Commons because it does not matter what side of the political spectrum you fall on. This is an issue that affects constituents in every single riding from coast to coast to coast. It is the hidden epidemic. And if you just look at how many different problems in society that unresolved brain injury and trauma result in, this is an obvious gap that needs addressing. And I'm glad that I am able to be here to play this small part and hopefully you'll take the message, uh, contact your elected representative as well, whether they're here in Vancouver or elsewhere. Uh, we need your help to make this a successful campaign. And I just really want to thank everyone of the panelists up here, you, the audience, and you, Andy, for making such an important issue into a really great film. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Alfred. And let's give it up.